Hi folks, Dave, the Honest Audiophile. This is the ClearTune Monitors CE110, and these are my Honest Audiophile impressions. The ClearTune Monitors CE110, these will set you back $99 from your bank account. They have 10 millimeter dynamic drivers, 17 and a half ohms of impedance, 115 decibels of sensitivity, and a frequency response range 20 hertz to 14 and a half kilohertz, and negative 26 dB of passive noise isolation. They come in this uh, bright yellow box picture, some information on the back, some specs, nothing too exciting. On the inside, you get a little carrying case with CTM branding, hard shell, get a little tray to put your IEMs in, and then a pocket for your accessories. And then you get a bag of tips. You get small, medium, large of both foam and silicone tips. And I used the silicone stock tip. And then, of course, you get your IEM. So this is the CTM CE110. A little bit of branding here on the shells. It says CTM on each shell. Flat design, very thin, and they're also extremely light. And they do connect with a two pin connection. It's not my favorite type of uh, connection with the uh, big, huge recess there, and you have to push it in. But hey, you know what? It works. There's the back side of it for you. You can see that 10 millimeter driver inside there. It is kind of cool being able to see the inside workings. Taking off the tip, you can see that there's a small angle and that the nozzle is fairly tall. I did use the small stock tips. I was kind of surprised I didn't need to use a larger tip. But the smalls fit me, and it was very easy to insert. Uh, went nice and deep into the ear. The ear hooks of the cable are very nice and well controlled. They have just enough tension to hold everything in place. And as you can see, the CE-110 just disappears in the ear. Now this is about the, the max size for a shell before it becomes too big for my ear as far as height. Uh, but they're extremely comfortable because they're so lightweight. And even though they have that flat shell on design on the back, the angle's just right. And they insert far enough that they just stay right in place for me. I have no problems. It's one of the rare flat shell designed IEMs that actually work for me. You can see how small they are in Minulistic. You can really hardly see them on the, on the, on the ear. Cable is very nice, nice and lightweight. Uh, as I already spoke about, the ear hooks are well controlled. You do have a cinch that actually stays in place and works. That'll work very nicely, especially if you run your cable down behind. It has enough tension to stay in place so your IEMs won't come loose as you move around on the stage. And then it's very nice and lightweight. Terminates into a 3.5 90 degree. Overall, I really like the build of the CE-110s. They're extremely lightweight and very, very comfortable. I can wear these for hours on end. No problems whatsoever with comfort. So you should be able to get through a concert being on stage with no problem. Negative 26 dB of passive noise isolation really works very well. Uh, these are legitly blocking out a ton of noise. Uh, but the only things I can hear around the house are when the coffee grinder's running or a vacuum cleaner or the carpet cleaner. Those are about the only things I can really hear extremely loudly. Outside, same thing, uh, very loud vehicles going by was about the only things that I could hear. So these will work very well on stage and they are focused for drummers and bassist so that'll do a very good job as as a bassist or as a drummer you kind of need to be in your own little world to be able to focus on what you're doing and to be able to keep time and rhythm 
So it's very important to be able to hear all your little extras in your in your mix, and these do a good job of kind of putting you in your own little uh, world, so to speak. Find that the CTM CE 110s are extremely easy to drive. Had no problems whatsoever powering them with dongles, daps, or dongles. Also use them with a uh, Allen and Heath QU24 mixing board, and it worked very well. No issues whatsoever powering the CTM CE 110s. Before we get into the sonic impressions of the CTM CE 110s, I want to thank my supporters through Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thank you very much for all that you provide to the channel. I know that these days uh, and months and years have not been easy in the world financially. And so I do greatly appreciate all that you can give to the channel is much appreciated. And uh, your willingness to sacrifice your own personal finances to support a channel and uh, that, that you enjoy and that you want to see continue and to produce videos so that others can also enjoy it. I greatly appreciate your donations and your, your support it is much appreciated. If you're interested in supporting the channel, please check out the links down below. There's all kinds of ways that you can support the channel, whether it be a one-time gifts through PayPal and Venmo or monthly support through Patreon and YouTube memberships. Also, while you're down there checking out those links, don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when the next video from the Honest Audio file is uploaded. All right, so the CTM CE110s. This is a stage monitor, uh, studio monitor that is focused for drummers and bassists. So, we got to talk about the bass. The bass of the CTM CE 110 is eye popping, or should we say ear popping? It is crazy good. Um, I, I am wowed by the bass of the CTM CE 110s. It is powerful. It is a uh, bombastic. It is a thumpy. It is impactful. It is authoritative. It is textured. It has amazing tonality, very good tone and timbre. It's not super extended into the sub bass. You get a little bit in the sub bass, but it is mostly mid bass and upper bass focused, but it is very well controlled, extremely well detailed and very good resolving. And it has a, an amazing amount of power. There's a bunch of girth and authority and it just, oh, it just goes down. There's nice note weight and density. And it will really drive home a note. It will thump. And it is an accurate bass. These things you can definitely tell are tuned for drummers. If you are if you are seeking a drummer IEM stage monitor CTM CE110s, these are for you. D definitely focused in that regard. Do an extremely well job for it. Mids. The mids of the CTM CE110s also have a nice body to them. They have nice note weight and good density, very natural in tone and timbre. And they're very accurate and natural, realistic sounding with instruments. They have a, a very neutral presentation and it is a, a very um, realistic sound. The detail retrieval and resolution is very good. And I really like the tonality of them, especially with instruments. Now, vocalists, they're not quite as focused that way. The upper mids, they're not as elevated as some other um, stage monitors are for vocalists. These are more for basses and drums. So if you're a guitarist or if you play uh, uh, stringed instruments, these will do extremely well. Uh, they are an amazing sounding, very natural tonality, very good tone and timbre. And I'm just always wowed at how realistic the in, those type of instruments sound. And it's just a pleasure to hear the CTM CE 110. So if you're a bassist or a drummer, the CTM CE 110s are really focused at you. Vocals come through and they have a nice tonality to them, but they're not the emphasis. Same thing with the treble. The treble is nicely extended and it has a, a good a naturalism to it. It has enough sparkle and energy and enough crispness to keep things engaging, 
but it is a little tailed off and I do wish I had a little bit more air and would extend out a little bit farther. But as far as sounding natural and accurate, they do that very well. These are these are a stage monitor focused IEM. These are not an everyday listen. So if you if you go into it looking at, at it as an everyday carry, um, you're going to be a little di disappointed. They're going to sound a little bit boring and they're going to sound a little too emphasized in the bass and in the in the mid section um, for instruments. Sound stage wise, they are uh, natural and accurate. They're going to present the stage as it should, you know, what, whatever your imagination thinks that the stage should be. Um, they do a very good job of portraying a very natural and accurate stage, whether it be small or large, they do a good job. They do a really good job with depth. You can really read into the stage. You can really uh, get a, a realistic feel of the instruments and the vocalists and the placements. And it does a very good job with the imaging. It's very very accurate in its placement. You can, it's right there. It's right there. That's third row. That's second row. You can really dissect a stage with the CTM CE 110s. Tone and timbre spot on. These things are exceptionally natural sounding and very accurate with the tone and timbre. And then detail retrieval and resolution is very good, especially for the price point of $100. You're not going to be left behind on any of the details and it's going to resolve everything that you get. I, I truly like the CTM CE 110s for stage monitoring, mixing, and for uh, just a monitoring overall. Everyday carry, not so much. They're very hit or miss. They are a very revealing type of uh, IEM. And so you will know whether or not it is a well-mastered track or not. And also they're kind of, they're going to sound a little boring to most. And so depending on what you're going to use them for, they're excellent. If you're going to use them for stage monitoring as a bassist or a drummer or as a, an instrumentalist and in like strings and things like that, they're going to do an exceptionally good job. If you're looking for an everyday carry, you might be a little disappointed. How do they compare to other IEMs in their price point? Well, you have the Edemotic ER2XR. The Edemotic ER2XR, very unique uh, fit. Not everybody's going to enjoy this type of fit. Sound-wise, the ER2XR is going to sound a little bit thinner. It's not going to quite sound as thick and as robust, especially in the bottom end. They are going to be a little bit more uh, forward in the mids and a little bit more vocal um, present than the CE110s. And in treble, they're going to have a little bit more sparkle and energy, and they're going to extend out a little bit farther. Sound stage-wise, they're pretty the same as far as width. Depth and layering is a little bit better on the CE-110. Overall, the Edomotics are going to sound a little bit more thin in note weight and density. And then you have the Katori Dauntless. The Katori Dauntless is going to be more forward in the mids and in the trebles. can be a little bit brighter. Have some moments of hotness up top with the Katori. Bass is not going to be as thick and not as uh, robust and impactful on the Dauntless. And then overall, note weight and density is not going to be as thick and lush and natural sounding on the Dauntless as it is on the CE-110. Soundstage is going to be a little bit wider. You're going to have a little bit better um, depth and resolution, or excuse me, depth and imaging on the CE-110s. And then detail retrieval and resolution has a little bit of leaning towards the Katori being slightly better. Overall, I really like the CTM CE110s, and I find them to be excellent for stage monitoring, especially for somebody who is a drummer a, or a strings player or a, a guitarist. Those would be its specialties, and they are exceptional. Highly recommend them for those usages. Everyday carry, I would probably lean towards the Katori Dauntless or the Edmodic ER2XR. It's been Dave, the Honest Audio File. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Speaking of next video, somewhere on the screen, subscription links, notification bells. If you haven't already, please check those off. Then don't forget to check out the links down below. There's all kinds of information down there regarding how you can contact channel, follow the channel, support the channel. All that kind of stuff is down below, along with music recommendations, gear recommendations, and tier lists, and all kinds of other things. Don't forget to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget to enjoy the music and that honesty is the best policy.